Hi there. In this video today, I'd like to show you how to implement a UI policy in the ServiceNow IT Service Management platform. Before I show you how to configure a UI policy, I'd like to show you a use case of where you may want to use a UI policy. So I'm just looking at an asset record in the asset form view and um, you'll see that there's a field here called stockroom shelf. So an example of where I would want to use this particular UI policy is when I change the state of this asset to in use I would want this field stockroom shelf to disappear because that field only relates to a stockroom and you would only see the stockroom field when an asset is in the state of in stock. As you can see when I change the state the field stockroom now becomes visible. So I'd like to trigger the same UI policy that st the stockroom field has with the stockroom shelf. Okay. So to implement the UI policy you have to have the admin role and you come to the user navigation bar and type in UI policy. So you can see it comes under the system UI page. So you click on UI policies. I'm going to click new to create a new one. So the first uh, field I have to fill out is the table it relates to. So that was the hardware asset table. So that's ALM underscore hardware. I'm going to give it a short description. So I'm going to call it stockroom shelf field visibility. Then the order is set to 100, which is fine. Conditions. Okay. So this is where you're going to specify in which condition does this, UI does this UI policy have to be met with in order for it to run. So I'm going to put the state, is this, the asset state is in stock. Okay, so now I've uh, configured when it should apply. So right now I'm going to right click on the header and hit save. Then now you'll see this uh, section here called UI Policy Actions is loaded. I'm going to click New. And this is where I specify the action. So I'm going to select Field Name. And I'm going to find the one I created earlier called Stockroom Shelf. So you can see it's right there. I'm going to put Visible. I'm going to change to True. Mandatory, I'm going to leave it alone. Read Only, Leave Alone. Hit Submit. Okay, then you'll notice this checkbox here called reverse if false is checked off. That basically means if the opposite of this uh, trigger is met, then the reverse action will be met. Okay, so I'm going to hit save on this. And now I'm going to go over to a hardware asset record. Oops, sorry. And I'm going to find out to see if this, hard, if this UI policy is working. So let's click on an asset that's in use. And you'll see the stockroom shell field is not there anymore like it was previously. I'm going to change this to in stock and hopefully that field will appear. So you can see we've got stockroom shelf appeared now. So now I can select the stockroom and I can select the shelf. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.